वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन्फोटेक विद जफर खान टुडेज एजेंडा ऑफ दिस लेक्चर इज वी विल डू अ प्रोजेक्ट फॉर सी आई सी डी पाइपलाइन यूजिंग डॉकर एंड डॉकर हब इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज वन डेवलपमेंट इन्वायरमेंट गिट हब जेनकिस एंड सिबल डॉकर हब एंड डॉकर होस्ट this is most important project widely used in it industries and high demand nowadays so watch carefully and watch the complete video if required watch two to three times so that it will crystal clear for you this is a critical project we are using number of tools for ci cd doing ssh connectivity amongst them so i would suggest watch it multiple time so that you will not confuse anything so this is the scenario okay so we have uh, development in dev environment we have github we have jenkins server and sibel server docker hub and of course our uh, docker host so in the development environment developer writes docker file as per requirement commit it and push into the github sometime what happen in a big industries the developer writes source code in a centralized location and they share the url for docker file then devops engineer who has sound knowledge of docker and docker files he will write a docker file include that url which is shared by the development developer in the docker file then commits and push into the github so whenever the developer or devops engineer push the docker file into github the jenkins which is integrated with the github executes job and docker file will placed into the jenkins server on a specific path that is slash var slash lib slash jenkins slash workspace so when the jenkin execute the job workspace create automatically and the docker file will comes under the workspace folder so now jenkin will transfer the docker file into ansible server to build we will basically not build into jenkins server we will build this job into ansible and for this we will install the docker in the ansible server remember it basically we want we don't we don't want to occupy much space in the jenkins server so that's why we are building this into the ansible server and when you build the image from the ansible server then docker is uh, required so you need to install the docker as well and we will define some commands in the jenkins server to run this in a into ansible server to build image and tag it and finally push into the centralized location that is docker hub you can use the private registry as well as a centralized location so now we will write a playbook in the ansible server and execute the playbook to build docker container into docker host so first it will check into the docker host if there is any image present here in the docker host if not then image will pull from the docker hub and create container into docker host so basically uh will create a container over here in the docker host the most important thing is that when you build image make sure you are using variable rather than the hard code first time it will build but when changes is required in the docker file as per new requirement it will give the error image is already exist like that so you have to change image name every time manually so when you want to build which is which is not a good practice and meaningless for automation because every time we 
uh, you will you will change over there in the docker file so that's why we will use the variable rather than the hard coded so to avoid basically to avoid such problem we will use a variable there is some predefined variable in jenkins that is uh, job name build id build number build tag etc etc so let me show you from google okay go to google jenkins predefined variable So here is the some predefined variables build number build id build job name tag build tag node name so these are the variables that you can use so these are the predefined variable okay so here is some high level steps which i have mentioned in this slide okay so basically uh, we will create a force server in aws machine and we will use the ubuntu okay and we'll keep ready for the first we'll keep ready the jenkins server we will install the java jenkins git uh, git to integrate with the github so git is also required to install in the jenkins server okay and then we will keep ready for the ansible server as well so we will install the ansible we will also uh, install the docker as i told and we will start the docker service we will start the docker service as well as we will also log in because we will push the uh, image into the docker hub remember it we will push the image into the docker hub so we have to log in the ansible uh, we have to log in the docker docker hub from ansible server okay and then uh, we'll keep the docker host as well we will install the docker and we'll start the service after that this is the important thing that we will uh, uh, set the password basically password let authentication we will create a root user and in all three servers like jenkins ansible and docker and set the authentication uh, yes and uh, permit the root login in config file and start the ssh in all server and we'll generate also the ssh key and copy from jenkins to ansible and then ansible to docker host and we will also install the plugin because uh, pub is a publish over ssh it's not a public okay so publish over ssh via manage plugin because when we start the jenkin so by default some plugin is installed but publish over ssh will not install so we will install manually using ma manage plugin and then uh, add the jenkins and ansible in the system configuration we'll integrate the jenkins with github create a job build the sec in the build section and select the jenkins server and then uh, select the execute command over ssh and rsync for the docker file into the ansible server we will rsync it when we will uh, create a docker file uh, into ansible server from jenkins to ansible server uh, we'll uh, select the ansible server for the same section and write the command to build the image and push into the docker hub okay also we will log in here as i told log in here in ansible server for docker hub otherwise if you don't log in then you will not able to push it will not push over there okay and we will write a playbook in ansible server uh, to create a container okay so these are the high level steps which i have mentioned so let's start now so we have already logged in the, uh, the aws console and we'll launch the instance so just select the four servers we are using the ubuntu over here okay because uh, uh, most of the people are asking why we are not using the ubuntu os so that's why i have decided to take ubuntu as os for this project
instant type you know it's a t2 micro so free tier so that's why we have selected the t2 micro and the key pair which i have already generated ubuntu key is a pem file basically network setting we will edit it one is already there by default that is ssh connectivity and we will also add it the um, all traffic so put anywhere <coughs> then uh, launch so it is launching meanwhile we can update over here the name this is the jenkins server jenkins server and we'll keep this one as ansible server This is the Docker host. And finally, it's a dev server. This is a dev server, right? We will use the dev server uh, and we can also use that directly uh, in GitHub as, GitHub as well. Because dev server is just just for uh, pushing the code, what, whatever the code you have written in the dev uh, dev environment, you just push into the GitHub. So you can also directly change in the GitHub. So I will show you over here. Okay. So either you can use the dev, dev server or in real life you can use the dev server. But for this demo purpose, I will directly use the GitHub. So it's uh, initializing now. It will take time probably uh, two to three minutes. So let it complete. Meanwhile, just cop copy the private type public IP. Copy the public IP and go to the terminal. CD desktop. Uh, our PEM file is, is in the desktop. So that's why I have to go in this directory ssh hyphen i then ubuntu key dot pem ubuntu is a user at the rate of and then public ib address okay so once it is uh, status is showing two by two checks completed then we will log in otherwise it might create a problem so let's wait for that yes so two by take uh, two by two checks pass so that means it is ready now so let's log in this way Login to the Jenkins server basically. <coughs> Clear it. First, what we will do, we will update it. sudo su switch the root user. And see, basically, we have four server, right? So, whenever you changes, do some kind of changes over there in each and every server. So, it is, it is very difficult to remember it with IP address. Which IP address is for Jenkins server, which IP address is for the Ansible server. So rather than uh, keeping the IP address, I will change the name of the host. Okay. So for this, host name CTL. Set host name. Jenkins okay and then bash so it will show the Jenkins name 
rather than the IP address. So you can easily identify with this name. Okay. So here the Jenkins server. So let's uh, keep ready it for one by one each server. Okay. So first we will uh, keep ready for the Jenkins server. Okay. So what we will do? We will just uh, update first. Update apt update. We are using the Ubuntu. That's why the command which we are using apt update. Yeah, so clear the screen. Okay, and we will check the Java version. I don't think Java is there. So Java version is not there. So we will we will install the default JRE. Okay. So just clear the screen. I have written some command over here so just to save our time I'll copy from here I will I will update everything in the description section don't bother bother about that all steps I will mention in the description section you can watch over there I mean you can get from there as well okay so just copy it and JRE okay so jre default jre basically so jre will allow you to run the almost all java software so that's why we are giving this command default jre yeah so you can verify now uh, java version java hyphen version so it is showing now open jdk 11.0 so this is required for the jenkins okay and apart from this you may also need to install the jdk in addition to JRE in order to compile and run some specific Java based software. So to install the JDK, we will execute the command apt install default JDK. It is written over here. Yes. clear the screen and you can verify as well java c compile version so it is there now okay so both jdk as well as jre for java is installed now we will install the jenkins so for jenkins we have some commands First execute this one, it will show OK. OK. And then SCH, that is Jenkins list. SC hyphen C. So this is the command uh, which is for the Jenkins list repository mention over there and after executing executing of these two things uh, we will update it okay update apt update so if you give any kind of if you uh, see any kind of error then we have to execute the curl command as well so let's check if there is any error 
so here is the repository this one is binary is not signed okay so for this what we have to do we have to execute the curl command so this is the curl command it's a debian package for the jenkins jenkins io okay and one more thing this one also need to be executed and let's update it you will uh, not see any error apt update yeah so error has gone okay now install the jenkins apt install jenkins hyphen for So Jenkins is now installed. Jenkins I find Apple version. Yes, it is installed now. It is serving 2.387.3. Okay, so let's clear the screen. Once Jenkins is, is installed, you have to install uh, you have to start the service as well. So there is a command system CTL start Jenkins dot service and system CTL enable Jenkins okay so you can check the status now system CTL status Jenkins so it is running now okay and this is the administrative password I will show you how to get this administrative password I it is already showing but after that you can also get, get the cat, cat command so that you can get the administrative password okay so let's do the clear the screen okay so we have started the Jenkins and when you run the Jenkins it will by default it will use port 8080 when you open the open the Jenkins into the browser okay so as we are using the Ubuntu machine so we will open the port using UFW there is a command UFW allow 8080 so we will use that one and open SSH as well and then you will enable yes and finally you can check the status as well status so it is showing now okay so now for Jenkins server everything is ready so set the Jenkins okay so what we will do we will go in a browser okay and 
put the public IP, copy the public IP of Jenkins server and just paste over here by default port 8080 enter. So here you can copy this one and just cat it, you will get the administrative password. Cat. So this is the same password which I have shown earlier. Administrative password. Okay. Just paste over here. Continue. So now install the suggested plugin. Okay, so we will click over here. Now all default plugins are installing. Okay, but here SSH built agent is there, but publish over SSH is not there. So we will install manually. it is required for the connectivity between ansible between jenkins to ansible and then ansible to docker ssh connectivity is required that's why we have to install that plugin so user just put admin password you have given over here i'm giving the small password it's a demo purpose only email id you can put false gmail.com just copy this one this is required for integrate with git github basically So now Jenkins is ready, right? So let it be. Then we will keep ready for the other server as well, Ansible server. So Jenkins is now ready. So let's clear the screen. So this is the Jenkins server. Now we will keep ready for Ansible. CD desktop SSH hyphen I. Ubuntu key dot pem Ubuntu at the rate of IP address of Ansible public IP address. Yes. Clear the screen, sudo su, set here the also host name ctl, set host name ansible, Put bash command, it will show the ansible server, right? apt update yeah so it's, it is updated now then we will first install the repository okay so i have Return the command over here, this repository, Ansible repository, and then we'll update it again. So it is asking press the enter to continue or control C to cancel. So we will press enter to continue because all repository is required for Ansible server. Yeah, so let's update it again and then we'll install the Ansible. 
apt install and cd hyphen y Okay, so let's clear the screen and just check and symbol hyphen hyphen version. Yeah, so and symbol is installed, right? Okay, so as I told, we have to install the Docker as well in this server because through this server we will push the image into Docker Hub. So Docker is required. Okay, so apt install Docker in Y. Okay, and we'll also install the IO part, IO dot IO. Right, so we will start the service as well. System CTL start Docker. System CTL enable Docker. So Docker is also installed, and there is the one important thing. We will go the we will go the uh, host file. Okay. And update over there because through Ansible we are creating container into the docker host so we will change the host file in this Ansible server so just go vi slash etc slash Ansible slash host I we have to update over here put docker host and we will take the private IP of the docker host right so just save it Okay, so now uh, our Ansible server is ready. I mean, install uh, the Ansible and also update the host files for Docker, Docker host, right? So now keep ready for the Docker host as well. So just Go to shell new window cd desktop ssh hyphen i ubuntu e dot pem ubuntu at the rate of public ip of docker Yes. So to SU. So here also we will set the host name. Host name CTL. 
subject host name docker host host name spelling is wrong bash yeah, so it is showing the host so here also we will update if it is update install docker hyphen y also install the io file dot io then we will start the service system ctl start docker system ctl enable docker so our docker server is also ready so now as we will do the connectivity between nc jenkins to ansible and ansible to docker host so we will use the passwordless authentication as a root user okay otherwise see because everything will be done automation okay so it is not possible so that's why we will do the passwordless authentication so let's go one by one and watch carefully what i am going to do now okay so first we will start from jenkins servers so here in the Jenkins server, okay. Pass wd <coughs> root. It will ask the password. Put the password over there. password updated successfully right so once it is updated successfully then we will go slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config so config file we will update the config file right so two things we need to do over here one is this is the permit root login okay will uncomment and here it is saying that prohibited password no i will say yes per, i will permit basically for root login okay and there is a password authentication it will it will say no i will say yes Save it and start the sshd right so system ctl restart put restart remember it is not a start otherwise it will give the testing error so put restart restart sshd so it is now started okay similarly do for the ansible as well as in docker server so let's do an ansible server this is our docker server this is ansible right so pass wd root provide the password and also pi slash etc slash ssh 
sshd underscore config file we will do here as well the same thing yes and here also yes save it and then start the service system ctl start sshd so it is started now in docker server okay pass wt root pi slash etc slash ssh slash ssh d underscore config yes and here is also it and save it start here as well ssh sorry system ctl restart SSHD. What I have done in the Ansible server is it start or restart? Oh no, it says start, so it will give the error. So better to restart. Yeah, so we have also done the configuration file and also update the password, right? Now we will generate a key, okay, and we'll pass into generate for SSH key connectivity. Okay, so let's start from Jenkins servers. SSH hyphen key gen. then copy it into the Ansible server so that the passwordless connectivity between Jenkins to Ansible ssh hyphen copy hyphen id root at the rate of private IP of Ansible It will ask the password first step and password we have already set. So one key is added to the Gen Ansible server and let's check whether we are able to access from Jenkins server to Ansible. SSH So here it is, we are able from Jenkins to Ansible, right? So exit. Similarly do in the Ansible server as well. Let's clear the screen. I have completed the Jenkins. Now from Ansible server to Docker host. Okay. So SSH hyphen keygen. SSH copy hyphen ID 
root at the rate of private IP of docker host when key is also added and let's cross check here as well ssh <coughs> so here we are able to connect to docker server as well from ansible right so key generated and copy into the respective server Right. So our server is now ready, the Ansible server, Docker server and Jenkins server is ready. Now go to the Jenkins. Okay. So this is our Jenkins dashboard. Uh, one more thing, we also need a Docker hub. So let first log into the Docker hub as well. Hub Docker. Oh, I have already logged in. Fine. So this is our Docker Hub. Okay. So now go to the Jenkins and create a job. But before creating a job, we have, as I told, we need to install the plugin, right? SSH plugin. Publish over SSH. So just go to the manage plan, manage Jenkins and. If you go here the config, configure system, you will not able to find the SSH because this plugin is not installed. It will not show over here. So I need to configure the Ansible as well as Jenkins server over here, but we cannot find the SSH. Email notification is the last one. So once I install the plugin, publish over SSH, it will show. Okay, let's do that. Manage plugin, available plugin, search SSH, SSH. So here the pub publish over SSH, installed. So it is installing now. Publish over SSH is a success. Okay, so just to restart. The best practice to restart. Okay, so now it is configured. It's okay, sorry, not configured. We have to configure it. So its plugin is installed. Go to manage again, Jenkins, and then system configuration. It will show now. Here it is. So add this server first, Jenkins server, Jenkins and then the hostname, hostname would be the private IP of the Jenkins. Username, I have taken the root and then password for password uh, we have to go in advance and use the password authentication and just test the test connection if everything is fine it will show success if anything go wrong then it will show error 
So success now. Add one more server or Ansible. Host name, private IP of Ansible. So root and the password go to advance. Use password authentication. Password we have already set. So test connection, it should also success. Yes, apply now. So both Ansible and Jenkins server has been configured in the Jenkins dashboard or system configuration you can say, right? Now, we will integrate Jenkins with GitHub. Okay, so for this we will create a job. So enter item name, so we put docker project, docker project. Select the file freestyles project and click OK. OK, select the git and then take the repository URL from GitHub. It's a GitHub. So you will find over here the code and then copy and then go to the Jenkins dashboard and just click outside yes so it is now correct okay and we have master branch so just check it is in master branch that's fine apply now so we have integrate with github okay but we will also uh, do the webhook so that it will automatically trigger whenever the changes has been done in the docker file right so we will do later so first we will write a uh, docker file in the github repository okay so we will write the doc i mean we can write the devs environment as well but we will we are using the github so we will write over here in the github so i will write a docker file so here is written nothing so just I have written a small docker file I will just copy and paste I'll show you what exactly I will tell you what exactly this is so this is the base image okay and this is uh, related to the Debian family Ubuntu and we are installing the um, basically we are installing the Apache okay and first we will update it and then install the Apache and we'll create a index.html so we'll just for the demo purpose we'll create an index.html in the Ansible server where the docker file will uh, build okay and we'll place in this particular path so that we can uh, say in the browser as well whatever I have written over in the index.html for example if you say hi hello world so if I write hello world we can uh, see in the browser hello world okay so this is our working directory basically and the entry point is this is basically uh, running in the uh, background okay so it will execute this command foreground and background so that's why we it, it will execute in the background and port 80 will map it with some other number so that's why expose 80 right so just commit this one okay and uh, let's set the webhook as well it's already there but I need to delete this one it's old one add webhook 
so the copy which I have taken for the Jenkins server this one ft1 oh let's double check is it the private IP of it Jenkins server yes 81 see 160.81 160.81 and then github put over here github hyphen webhook yeah and then select application json secret key we have to generate so this is our Jenkins dashboard we'll go over here and then configure then add token, generate token, copy this token okay, and paste into the secret. Okay, so before saving that, you have to save here as well. Apply, save. Yeah, so now you can add Weibo and it will show point but you have to refresh this one yeah so it is uh, setting is completed right webhook setting so what it will do whenever the changes has been have has been done in the docker file it will automatically build but we have to but uh, we have to do something what we have to do let me show you configure and we will this one we have to check this one github github hook trigger for git scm pooling so i will first i will do manual and then we'll put it later okay will not do this time fine so now already created a job so now configure it build first basically build i mean configure it in the build section go to the build section send file or execute command over ssh so here first we will select the jenkins we have configured this one and here the in the execution command we will rsync so what it will do it will uh, transfer the docker file into the ansible server in a particular location so rsync avh and slash var slash lib slash jenkins slash workspace so under this workspace that docker file which i have created i mean written docker file it will come into the slash opt sorry root at the rate of private ip of ansible server under slash opt okay so here it will come and remember it no so workspace and then project name it should be the project name here. docker project docker project under this docker project I mean, under this workspace it will it will docker project i mean the, the directory will also come and under this directory this docker file will be there 
and this docker file we are transferring into the ansible server under opt directory slash opt right so everything i mean whenever the changes has been done over here so it will rsync and transfer into the ansible server under opt folder right so apply now all spellings are correct let's check because slash avh slash var slash lib slash jenkins workspace yeah i think it is fine so let's save it and then one more add build step for send for ansible server this is for the ansible server so here in this ansible server first one is the jenkins work yeah and in this ansible server what we will do we will go to the slash opt use that docker file and build over here image we will build the image and push into the docker hub so docker image build hyphen t this command I have ex already explained in my previous docker video. So if you missed that one, watch that also. That is a very important one. And you have, you learn lot of things over there. So just watch if you missed that. If you already seen and you know that, that's fine. Very good. So docker image build and then image name. So image name, what we will do, we will uh, put the variable rather than the heart. So for taking variable, we'll insert, I mean dollar, we'll keep dollar, then job underscore name, colon, version one, dot, dollar, build id build underscore id and then don't forget to put dot over here okay so docker image build this will build the with the name okay and then version it will mention the version as well you can yeah, either you can put the version or not but it will by default it will put build id is one and then two then three it's a unique number okay so the name name would be the docker uh, docker uh, hyphen project and then version one dot one similarly for do docker hyphen project version 1.2 1.3 1.4 like that okay so once it is built then we will tag it so docker image tag which one you will tag this one we'll tag this one with zk0034630 and then this also remember when it built it also built the latest file okay so we'll just copy this one and tag with latest name latest right yes and then we'll push into the docker hub so we'll command for that use the command docker push docker image sorry docker image push we'll push this one and latest one as well so docker image
latest right and see basically what happened whenever you change do the changes in the docker file or manually build the every version will create okay so it create lot more files over there so your server will occupy much much space so better idea to just remove that one okay so what we will do we'll remove that one docker image rmi so we'll remove first this one then this one and we'll also remove the latest one okay so this is the main uh, docker command first we are building over here then we tag those uh, image and then uh, also tag with latest one and then push into the docker hub the docker hub and the two files will be we are pushing one is the uh, build id with the build id and the file the other one is the latest file so these two things will push over there in the docker hub i will show you okay and then docker image we will basically the number of files will be will become so huge and it will create a problem for the space for that particular server so that's why we are removing that one okay so this is now let's just save it okay then what we will do <coughs> post build action okay so in the post build action we will select the send build artifact over ssh we'll write a uh, and uh, write a playbook basically so we'll do later but before that we rather than we will miss so before that we have to log in the docker host docker host not docker host sorry docker hub in the ansible server so let's log in otherwise we'll miss it so this is the docker server this is the jenkins server this is the nc docker host how come two docker host ansible server where is the ansible server docker host this is jenkins why it is so using Okay, maybe we have not exit that one, so that's why SSH connectivity during the SSH connectivity we have not exited. So it is so in Docker. Anyway, this is the Ansible server. So we have to log in it. Docker login. It will ask the sorry spelling. login it will ask the user id password i have user check k 0034630 and then password i have so login is success so now we are able to push when we build it okay so we have logged in then we'll write a playbook first in the ansible server so first we will make a directory under that directory we will write a playbook okay so just mkdir source code okay and go inside that source code source 
okay so vi then docker dot yml dot yml so we'll write over here host create container task here it should be create container name create container host, host should not be create container docker host either put docker host or all i have mentioned in the docker host but you can put all as well so now here we are creating the container so what is the command for container shell docker container run hyphen itd name put Khan container Khan container and then map the port as well 9000 and dot expose port in 80 and so from which image it will build the container zk 0034630 slash docker project so this is our playbook which i have written the first time it will create a docker container khan container but when you are going to build that uh, when you are going to build again then it will give the error the container is already there and then image is already there so we will remove also but we will do later Okay, so let's save it. Now go to the post build section. This is the add post build section. Then send artifact over SSH. Send build artifact over SSH. Here the Ansible server is there. And here what I will do I will write a, I will execute the command ansible playbook where it is source code and what the file name docker dot yml right I just now written source code and then docker dot yml so Remember it, everything should be in a small. Ansible, playbook, then source code and YAML file. Okay, apply and save it. Okay, so now one more thing we will do. We'll write a HTML file in the Ansible server. This is our Ansible server. Let's clear. See this slash opt. Docker file will come over here. Okay. So it will currently it is not showing. So just I will create an index.html file as well so that it will pick from here index.html. Okay. So simply I have I will write HTML body is equal body text equal to black 
and BG color, background color, BG color is equal to greenish, okay, and then put center over here, we will write in center and we will give some space, okay, BR, 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 right, and here the text I will write, I all then close text first write another text as well h2 something is wrong you are watching youtube channel Info tech with the Farhan. Close H2 as well. Then close center. Close body as well. And then finally we'll close HTML. Right. So I have just uh, written a simple file, index.html file. Just save it. Okay. So currently have this index.html file and container, but Docker file. When we build it, it will show over here the Docker file. Okay. So I think I have done it. Now we will build manually. Just build now. The error given. Let's see what error is. send file execute command over ssh unstable so let's check one by one okay so let's find the error so basically we have to go the config configure and uh, let's check over here uh, yes so this is is wrong and images it should not be images it should be image right image will be there I have written the wrong spelling the wrong it was so image we are removing that image as well as this file is already there in the docker hub so we have to remove that one because ansible is playing but it is giving the error because of that file is already there so let's apply okay and uh, go to the ansible server so this project is built but uh, we have to remove this all project CD source code AI token dot YML. Okay, so now we amend this one. 
task name stock container stop container s h e double n shell okay and we'll docker container docker container stop container name is khan hyphen container khan hyphen container right similarly we'll remove the container first we'll stop and then we'll remove name remove container shell docker container rm on container and we'll remove the image as well remove image shell docker image rm and then image name image name is this right so let's check the spelling remove container docker container rm here it is wrong again we get the error so better to be careful rm container okay so docker image rm this is the image name now we are creating this docker so first we will stop the container docker container stop container name then remove the container and remove the image so it will build the same name with this right so let's save it and build it again manually yeah so it is now success right so everything is success now okay so we will check first in the servers okay so here in ansible server if you see that uh, cd slash opt okay if you see that here docker file is kept we have index.html and docker file is now k okay similarly go to the docker host and just check whether the container is running over there or not so docker ps is command is to checking the container which are running so here the container is running this is the image name and the container name is khan and the one more important if you go to the docker host and just copy this word public ip and go to the browser and put the port name which i have mapped so it is showing now this one hi all you are watching youtube channel infotech with zafar khan so it is deployed successfully in the docker host right and also let's check it is pushed over there in the docker hub or not so just refresh it this is the image name let's check the version latest version 
So here the latest version 1.3. I got an error 1.1 and 1.2. 1.3 is the latest one. It is pushed over there just two minutes before ago and the letter. So two files have been one is the version with the version 1.3 and the latest file. It has been pushed into the Docker Hub and it is also built uh, successfully and um, create a container and we have deployed in the container. So it is working fine. Now let's do one more practical things. Okay, so go to the configure and it should be automatically built. Okay, so we have set that webhook. Okay, but we have not click over here. Take just take that GitHub um, GitHub hook hook trigger. So it will trigger automatically. So whenever the changes has been done, it will trigger automatically. So apply it, save it, and just we'll use the GitHub over here. Okay, we'll not I'm not using that uh, development environment. So very simple one in the previous project if you see that one just we are pushing that whatever the code I have written okay so just go to here and change the docker file the same docker file you can change over here and in the development environment as well okay so I have written one more file so this is the file name And we'll update over there. So what it is doing? Same doing the same thing. Apache installing Apache and also zip file is installing and zip and unzip because this add basically download this one and keep into the working directory. So as I told in the beginning, sometime what happened? Developer develop the code and keep into the centralized location and they will provide the url to devops engineer so so what you will do you will execute this kind of activities okay so just if the url is there okay so we will download this url into this and we'll unzip that one and then copy into this directory root directory and we'll remove this one finally okay and execute this is running in the background and port is exposed 8080 okay so let's save it it should run automatically just commit and check into the jenkins server 1.3 build id should be 3 and it will execute automatically yes it is executing Taking time. Yes, it is built now. Right? So let's check over here. Yes, success. Okay, so what it will do? Let's check over here in the console. I mean, browser. So, first one I have deployed this one. The second one I have deployed different things. So, what it is, let's see. So here it is the new deployment has been done successfully right so we have create a con uh, container and we have deployed 
application in the container okay if you want one more thing I would like to do that as well so here I simply change this one okay, let me edit edit keep in edit mode and then it would be 79 I know this URL so that's why so Avalon car rather than Avalon the new Audi car the new Audi okay so you need to copy this one and instead of Avalon just put the new Audi wherever Avalon is there put new Audi be precaution otherwise it will give the error so I have done the changes right I mean we have deployed another application on the same container so let's commit it and check over here it should be 5 job ID will be 5 build ID yes triggering automatically and will deploy in the container yes so it is also built successfully and go to the browser again and check what we have deployed those functionality are available or not so the new Audi car it is so well okay so the new Audi car technical specification is mentioned but it is something different language okay anyway so this is the complete CI CD pipeline project using git github jenkins ansible docker host and docker hub we have built everything uh, automatically okay and we have uh, built the image push into the docker hub and we'll also create the container into the docker host and deploy some application automatically and everything has been done automatically yeah so that's all uh, from my side thank you guys thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to click the subscribe button please